sort of figured that there was a connection between my mental health and obviously gloomier and darker pictures of the sea with the collaboration that we've done with Naked Friend Theater. I kept thinking about this idea of how everyone has a little angel and a little devil on their shoulders telling you what to do and what not to do. But I sort of reinterpreted that through the image of a pirate and siren, obviously the pirate being the angel and the siren being the devil. These are three versions of myself, it's not three different characters really. It's really a representation of how every one of us, not just me of course, we're always struggling with that part of ourselves that is trying to drag us down and maybe you need to actually face the storm and try and fight and get out of it. The pirate. <laughs> the pirate's function. So yeah, I just wanted to try and represent that conflict really that goes on in each one of us. The piece basically is an interactive installation. It's a marionette puppet which really exploits the fact that in this exhibit people are going to be coming in and can have just a chance to really animate this puppet and then we see this puppet animated by so many different people. Nobody animates this puppet the same way. So you just get to give a little bit of your life force and everybody that comes through that room gets to do that and that puppet suddenly is like transformed. My piece relates to open water in this fact of how I view open water and mental health and how that comes together because I think so often we think of mental health as this binary thing it's good or it's bad you're okay or you're not and that you can fix it just like anything that's just not the case it's it's detailed hard exhausting work it's you know and you have to navigate it which is why the piece is called a navigator why you know it's this small act of moving it of breathing of giving to something a focus on this puppet, a focus on your mental health, you know. That's, for me, just such a better metaphor and a way of philosophy for living and looking after yourself than fixing it like that. I'm okay now, like, we're not living a rom-com, you know. So. Kind of like a meditation track. You walk into the shower and it's like guiding you through your own thought process. And it's with their soundscape and also some music. We're drawn to open water because it's like big and calming. But in daily life, and if we're not living by a shore, it's kind of impossible for us to be with open water every day. But we do spend time every day in a shower so I feel like there's somehow like a connection there and shower is like a space where you're very vulnerable and like um, you're, you're stripped down to your own thoughts and people often say like they experience a flow like of inspiration and like thoughts inside the shower so sometimes it could be good but sometimes it, it can be a bit overwhelming because you're being honest with yourself and some stuff you're suppressing might come up and it's just you feel vulnerable there during this process i kind of played with like narration like script writing and also soundscaping and i just feel like the form that the meditation track the, the kind of form i used is something i want to take forward with me because i feel like it has a lot of opportunity for storytelling it could be like an experience of that, that literally like snatch you to like another universe. So I feel like I definitely want to do that in the future. Ova is now going to become part of this piece. I've been collaborating for the last five years, and those are pieces that I take to scratch nights and open mics, and then. Um, eventually retire and put on the back burner and I have like a large book of them all um, and I'm hoping that one day that will be published um, or that can be performed as a collection and Under was really like my first look into film as a medium and I've really enjoyed it I think it's I think filmography is really really interesting way to play with things so I don't know where Under will go but it definitely will go somewhere 
I think mental health and its relationship to open water is a really beautiful image. It's it's so it's so closely interknit. Like nobody knows a lot about mental health. Nobody knows like it affects everybody so differently. And I think open water has the same effect on people. I think open water really like it terrifies some people. It can be really calming to others. And I think it really embodies the state that people's emotions and people's mental health can be in. A lot of the time, mental health can feel very overwhelming. Um, lots of different emotions and you're not actually sure which one's which. So that's what this piece represents. Um, so there's like multiple faces to represent like anger, confusion, um, and just not feeling heard. Like, kind of like the sound of a, of a wave and it just keeps coming. So that was sort of the sort of the darker one of the two. And then this one over here is the flip side. So it has two meanings. It's whether you feel the calm after you've worked through your like mental ill health with the help of the therapist or however you're, however you're doing it. And you feel like the calm that you can be at the exact same space. So like the same sea, the same open water but you're actually feeling calm and restful and in control of your mind. Or, the flip side as well, is if in your mental ill health, if you are just so lost that you just don't feel anything, and that's quite a lot of the time how people can feel just overwhelmed and your brain just, as a defense mechanism, goes right, don't feel anything. And that's sort of also what it can represent. So that's why there's the two reflections of the face.